Yo, yo, yo! What is going on, everybody? You guys got the Barkage of the Hidden Gains Village! <laughs> Here today, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a little home gym tour and basically going to be showing you guys all of my different calisthenics equipment. So, going to be a super awesome video. Here we go. We're going to check out the home gym. Let's go. All right, guys, here's the door. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do a quick little uh, go around quick before I break everything down. So, oh... My, oh my God, this is just, this is amazing. This, this is some of the best equipment money can buy. They, wow. This is a state-of-the-art gym setup right here. OMG. Okay, people. So, I'm going to start over in this corner. As you can see, we have this super old bench that I basically used to store stuff on. going to direct your attention over to this lacrosse ball right here, which I basically will use as like a, uh, trigger point ball post workout will mainly use it um on like my rotator cuff and stuff like that uh post workout very very helpful i highly recommend you guys do something like this like lacrosse ball or a foam roller or something like that um <clears throat> post workout it's, it's awesome anyway uh over here we have this uh, purple yoga mat which i cut into two uh, i basically will use that to um place underneath my wood parallettes so they don't slide around on the <clears throat> on the floor and we also have these puzzle pieces right here um which i got uh to try to serve a similar purpose to the uh yoga mat but they actually didn't end up working out as well as i thought they would so that kind of sucks but it's fine because the yoga mat works just fine now uh over here we have this nice foam roller as you can see it's blue which is my favorite color so that's very amazing uh yeah foam roller super good again do this uh post workout and a little bit on rest days as well um, if you're going to get a foam roller, I would recommend getting, uh, one of the longer ones like I have right here. I just think it's better for <coughs> hitting a bunch of stuff. So over here, we, have, we do have some weights. I am a calisthenics guy, but we do have a bunch of weights that really do not see much usage, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, it's whatever. I'm happy to have them. I love them. So <coughs> next we have this bench, which again, also doesn't really see much usage. I will sit here in between sets. And um, I, I might even occasionally set the camera here if I'm filming. And as you can see over here, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably noticed the fidget spinner by now. But yes, um, we got this uh, fidget spinner right here, which I also will use in between sets to kind of meme with. Just hold on. Yep. Ah, oh, baby. Yeah, I'm so good. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so next over here, we have uh, my dip bars and my wood parallettes. <clears throat> So let's zoom in on the parallettes. As you can see, we've got these awesome fairy tale stickers that I've put on them. We've got Panther Lily, Gajiel, Juvia, and then on the other one we have Jalal. <laughs> Amazing character. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people hate fairy tale, but I like it. I don't care. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we've got some pink. I don't know if you guys can see that. Some pinkish uh, residue from my chalk on these just kind of stays there. So even if, you know, my chalk, uh, maybe I'm not using chalk or something, I'll still have some pretty nice grip because of the residual. But yeah, so that's awesome. I got these parallettes off of Etsy. For those of you guys wondering, not sure if the seller is still selling them, but if you look up wood parallettes on Etsy, something should come up. That's probably pretty good. So next we have these, uh, dip bars. Uh, once again, not going to say the exact brand name because I don't even think they make these anymore i've had the i've had these for years i got these around when i started calisthenics um and uh yeah these are really good i don't use them as much as i used to anymore um i will occasionally do some planches on them starting in like a dip position but for the most part everything happens <clears throat> on the parallax i just think they're a lot better than the um uh dip bars <coughs> um okay next the whole reason why i want to make this video is to show off my brand new rings, which I just got, been training on the, been doing some ring stuff for about, I'd say probably about a week now when this video uh, gets uh, posted. Um, so as you can see, yeah, we've got the numbered straps so we can uh, always set them up evenly. Now when I'm doing the rings at home, I normally will set them up a little bit higher than that because where they are now, I can't really do uh, muscle ups on them. But yeah, so the stuff I've been doing on rings as of late is Muscle ups, uh, front lever to back lever, um, dips, dip support holds, and I also have been memeing around with L-sits from time to time. So, 
Um, there was one other thing I wanted to point out. Yes. So as you can see, yeah, the hallway setup is pretty good. Unfortunately, though, when I do get more advanced on the rings, which I will because I'm really going to uh, work on it. Uh, when I get to more advanced moves, obviously I can't at home. I can't really go wide, really. Or may maybe I could. I don't know. I, I don't think I'd be able to go wide. Or maybe it would be really, really difficult. But yes. Um, so gonna be doing a lot of ring training. But I do. I have a park set up too. So I put them on a tree at the park, and I I can go as as wide as I want. Set them up <clears throat> exactly how I want. And yeah, rings very, very great to train with. And I highly recommend if you are training calisthenics. I highly recommend. Uh, getting rings to train with one. They're really, really convenient because it's basically like, hold on, I'm going to show you guys my face. Now, anyway, yeah, I would highly recommend uh, investing in rings because here's the thing with rings that's really awesome. It's basically like a full gym in your house um, because <clears throat> you can do pull-ups on them, dips. You can do literally everything. And the thing is, most moves on rings are actually harder because you use way, 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 way more stabilizer muscles, you know, mainly the dips, you know, pull-ups. I noticed that pull-ups didn't really, didn't really feel much different compared to on a bar, front lever, same thing, didn't really feel that much different, but dips feel insane different just holding yourself up there on top of the rings for the first time you know even me you know i'm pretty advanced at calisthenics i've been doing it for almost five years now and it was really really hard to just hold myself up on the rings at the very beginning um but i did get used to it kind of quick and uh, now i can hold myself up there not and still not perfectly but you know i'm obviously like better at dips than i was when i first got them like a week ago and um yeah so that's really really cool definitely you guys should invest in the rings oh and one more thing muscle ups are actually way way easier on the rings because there's not a bar there so you can just pass right th rings and it's really cool <laughs> so yes um that is the home gym tour once again i'm going to show you guys a little uh view of the room do, 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 do. yes so yeah that's the uh home gym tour <clears throat> very epic uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces!